Hey there everyone, welcome back. This is Sarah. Today we'll be making some sweet and sour gummies with this gummy creations kit. I found this set at my local Walmart and they were selling it for just under $10. The kit gives you four fruity flavors of gummies and I guess all you need is just some warm water to make them. So inside the box, they give you one plastic bowl, two of these plastic gummy trays. Both of the trays are the same designs, and let's see on the top you get a banana, some grapes, a pineapple, a strawberry, a lemon or lime, and let's see, that could be I guess some watermelon or lemon and lime, or even an orange. And you get a ladybug, a butterfly, a fish, an owl, a dog, and a teddy bear. They've also included a mixing spoon, a pipette so you can easily put your gummy solution inside of your plastic molds, four packets of gummy mix, they give you a cherry, a yellow, a green, and a blue. It does seem a little odd how they named the first one cherry and not red. Hmm. Lastly, they also give you a page of instructions that are really easy to follow. Like it said on the front of the box, you're also going to need to provide some warm water. Instead of using the included plastic bowl, I think I'll use my smaller mixing bowls just to make this process go a little bit faster. Alright, so let's get started and make some gummies. I'm going to open up the cherry packet first. The instructions say to use equal parts of the gummy mix with the warm water. So let's start off and add three of these spoonfuls of the gummy mix. With about three of these spoonfuls of water. Now we'll just give everything here a little mixy mixy. I'm noticing that my gummy mix is solidifying awfully quickly. I think I'm going to have to put this into the mold quickly before it becomes a solid. The instructions say to use the pipette and pipe your mixture into the mold. But I am having a lot of difficulty with the pipette. Once I suck it up, it won't come out. I think I'm going to have to skip the pipette for now and just use my spoon to put the mixture into the mold. Well, that didn't make very much, did it? Let's make some more the next round. Now I'm going to try the yellow mix. This time I'm going to double the recipe and put in six spoonfuls of the mix into my mixing bowl. Now I'll just add these six spoonfuls of water. Quickly stir the ingredients together. And let's see, I'll put the yellow in the banana mold. Into the pineapple mold. And the butterfly mold. made some of the green gummy mixture. And the blue. And the blue one smelled really good. It smelled like blue Kool-Aid. I also experimented a bit and added some of the red and blue together. I really like the look of the red and blue together so I wanted to see what the red and yellow look like together.
My gummies are already setting, but I'll put them in the fridge for a couple of minutes for them to set a little bit faster. All right, well, I just had a totally great idea of what I'm gonna do with the rest of my gummy mix. But I'm not gonna tell you guys what I'm doing. I'm just gonna make it and let it be a surprise. All right, now this is gonna go in my fridge for a few minutes as well. All right guys, here they are, my completed gummies. Most of them came out great, except for that little owl one. That one got a little messed up when I took it out of the molds, but they look so colorful, don't they? Let's try the cherry one first. Mmm. Yeah, the cherry, the cherry one's really good. It definitely tastes like cherries. Let's try the yellow one. Mmm. It tastes it tastes like lemon, but this one's pretty sour. Mmm. The blue one is so good. It tastes like blue Kool-Aid. The green one is such a weird color. Oh. <laughs> the green one isn't very good. This one's probably the most sour, and it kind of tastes like lime, but then it kind of tastes like apple. All right, well here is my solidified pan of gummy mixture. I'm gonna quickly take this out of my pan. Now I'm gonna use my really tiny heart cookie cutter to cut out some heart-shaped gummies. Oh my gosh, I love the way that turned out. It's so cute. I'm gonna make some more. Well, I have to say this gummy set was a total success. These are so easy to make and they tasted pretty good too. Thank you guys so much for watching today and as always, we'll see you in the next video.